I was on a Harbor Covenant trip to San Francisco and we were working at the San Francisco Food Bank. And during that orientation, what that person said just struck me that, wow, what they're doing with food could be and probably should be done with furniture. And Brian, my son, said, you should do it. And my son reminded me of that for the next six months. And tragically, six months after we were standing in the San Francisco Food Bank, Brian passed away. Our life exploded at that moment. You know, we're reevaluating um, my career, the stuff I was chasing, the stuff we were doing, and um, I still wasn't going to do the furniture bank, so. But the old cannery furniture store, they supported us in quite a, quite a big way. They actually said, you know, you got this idea, why don't you do it? And um, they donated 1,100 square feet of warehouse space and uh, $30,000 of, of funding that they had raised for Brian's medical expenses, but we didn't need it. So we were kind of on our way. I had been living in shared housing. It was a co-ed situation, so I was living with other men and other women. And it's just difficult sometimes to share a kitchen and a bathroom. And, and not everybody has the same standards of cleanliness, you know. I was newly in recovery, and I felt it was better for me to be around people at that time. Um, and so for a decade I did that. I lived with other people. I had uh, been able to get a referral to Northwest Furniture Bank. I was, at, I was literally sleeping on the floor at that time. So um, I spent some time sleeping on the floor in my new apartment. And I, I mean, I was elated about having my own apartment, but still, you know. And so when that day came, when I was able to pick out the furniture, I was very pleased about that. They had a new bed frame and new mattress for me, and I, I was just very pleased about that. <laughs> I think it's wonderful that people can do that, that organizations can do that, that they can give furniture and have it available for people like me who are in need. And I could pick out what I needed. I got all the furniture that I needed for my apartment and it, w it was delivered. Think about it. If you never had furniture in your life or you had furniture and you lost it, you know how devastating that can be saying you have to downsize or for some reason a natural disaster happened and you're homeless now. You have nothing. You know, just having furniture is a small step of being able to be stabilized again. It's a small step of saying, okay, I lost everything and now I'm regaining everything. It's, it's a sense of pride. The fire that we experienced was on January 5th, just a couple weeks after Christmas. Smoke detectors went off four o'clock in the morning and I woke up first to the smoke detectors and stood up, turned the light on, and obviously the house is full of smoke, so I immediately started yelling, wake up, wake up, the house is on fire. Literally putting clothes on, I grabbed my cell phone, we walked out the house, I gave her the phone, said call 911 as we stood in the front yard and the house was on fire. So that was just, you know, unbelievable trauma that we experienced. And, uh, we slept for uh, two weeks in the church because I pastor the church and it's literally a matter of feet from our house and so we stayed in the church for a couple of weeks so we rented this um, and we're able to move in a week later after that. So this was just empty and all our furnishings were ruined. The hardest part of this for me has been just being displaced from our home, the initial trauma of that moment especially. We certainly do feel the love of community and friends and strangers through this whole thing. It has not been easy to be on the receiving end of help. We, we've enjoyed uh, the position that we've always been in, and that was to, to be able to bless other people when they had a need. And so... It just kind of foreign for us to be the person who's being ministered to. We had been in here for about a month. While I was pregnant with my son, um, I was there for a checkup, I guess, 
a counselor came to me and they wanted to talk and they said um, if I have a place, if I need help with anything, talk to them and they said we can refer you to a furniture bank if you if you're sleeping on the floor because I told them that I was uncomfortable sleeping on the floor being pregnant being eight and a half months pregnant and then I was like yeah I think it'd be best if I get help with furniture. Actually all I had was a little bassinet for my son and that's about it. It felt like like we were getting back on our feet ever since we came here to Washington. I I can't believe that there's that there's people like this out there that that are willing to help this much. Thank you. I cannot believe that you are you have such a kind heart to give me something out of the goodness of your heart. Otherwise, I'd probably still be on the floor with my three kids. It's still very unreal. I never knew that we'd be surrounded by so many people that volunteer their time, that care about people having furniture. But when you see how people's lives are impacted, both the volunteers and the clients, it's, it's been powerful.